Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at how we can exploit Java deserialization vulnerabilities with uh, an automated way using a perp plugin named Java deserialization scanner. Uh, also, uh, we will be taking a look. Uh, also, we will be taking a look at the YSO serial tool, how it uh, makes the payload and what payload it is, and how that payload is encoded uh, so that it is embedded into cookie or wherever you find the deserialization vulnerability. So uh, I am in the web academy here, bothsigur.com, and I'm using this lab named Exploiting Java Deserialization with Apache Commons. So Apache Commons is a library, I guess. So in this lab, we are given a set of credentials that are Wiener Peter, and once we log in in the cookie, we will find a Java Deserialization vulnerability. So I have already opened the lab here, and you can see my account option here. So let's just get into this. I'm gonna log in right away, and let's intercept this request quickly. Uh, before that, I want to show you that how you can install Java, Java Deserialization Scanner. You just need to go to uh, Extender and then B App Store. Then just type in here uh, Java DES and then you can see Java Deserialization Scanner here. Scroll down, there will be install option, install it. And once it is installed, you will see a tick here. That means your bar plugin has installed. Once it has been installed, you will see a tab here They're saying Deserialization Scanner. And then here we have everything that we can work with. Uh, we'll get onto this later. Let's first of all go to the proxy tab, turn on the intercept, and then just refresh the page here. Oh, I forgot to turn on the proxy proxy. Okay, now let's just refresh the page. And then we can see the cookie right here. Let's copy this cookie, first of all. And then let's go to decoder, paste it in here. Then you can uh, uh, click on smart decode, you can see it highlights percent to be percent to be which are URL encoded stuff. So percent to be if you decode this, uh, it will be plus sign. Uh, so yeah, this plus is uh, URL encoded to percent to be. Once this is decoded, uh, you can uh, click on decode as base 64. Oh, I accidentally click somewhere else. So it's a uh, decode as base 64, then you will see this uh, uh, pop up here. That is data session token access token users and then Java, you can see uh, that you can read the text here. If there is username and then some random stuff, then uh, our username Wiener. So we know that, yeah, this is a uh, readable text and this is looks like a serialized text string. So we know that uh, uh, this cookie is made by, uh, first of all, encoding the uh, serialized string to base64. And then once it is uh, base64 encoded, then it is URL encoded. You can see that uh, plus sign has been changed to percent two B. So we know that yeah, it was first uh, uh, base sixty one encoded and then you are encoded. So we know the flow of making a cookie uh, via the string. If you don't know what this string is, uh, it means you have not uh, ever ever used a Viso serial tool. And so just let's just take a quick look at it. So we'll say Java dash jar. Okay, I have already prefilled the command here, and then we can say list. Here we can see all of the options of the libraries that we can use to make a serialized string. So, oops, uh, let's do that again. And we have all the options here. Let our comments collection one, two, three, four, everything. So let us see the comments collection four actually. And instead of list, I'll say comments selection four, and then specify the command that you want to execute. So I'll say who am I? This is just for demonstrating purposes, not a real exploit, of course. And then press enter. Here you can see our, our payload has been generated, or you can say serialized string. And this is the string uh, that we saw on our verb decoder. So this is not uh, exactly that is like this, but you know what I'm talking about. And once we base 64 encode it, let's see, let's say base 64, scrolling up, you can see it just starts with R0, R0, which is uh, just the same, exactly the same like our cookie that we saw here, that is R0. So we know that, uh, yeah, it may be using common selection for, but this is a manual process. I, mean, I knew the solution of this is common selection for because it is using this library. But if you are in a real world uh, engagement and uh, you will have to do some trial and error method to find the real uh, library in use. So you will have to test all of all of these ones to get the right one. And sometimes it can happen that uh, the one thing you think should work will not work. So this is a bit tedious. Therefore, we are going to use the Java Deserialization Scanner here. So what I'll do, I will send this uh, whole request that I've intercepted to our extension, then Java Deserialization Scanner, then just send it to my bootstrap. 
going to the desired and scanner tab you can see our request right here now we just need to uh, highlight the string that is serialized so i have highlighted it here then just click on set insertion point once that is done now you need to specify that after your payload has been made like with the viso serial because this uh, plugin also uses viso serial tool to make the payloads and also uh, this uh, tool is for testing only the uh, basic uh, uh, digitalization vulnerabilities uh, that are common but not the complex ones so don't rely on this tool only so therefore uh, now uh, now we need to specify how the payload will be generated or you can say encoded so as we saw earlier that that our string was first uh, url encoded so i'll say encode using url encoding oh sorry first of all it was a uh, base 64 encoded of course so i'll say uh, encode using base 64 and then uh, I'll say encode using URL encoding. So that is how our cookie is made and then displayed in the request. Okay, now just click on attack and this could take probably a minute or two depending on the command that you use here. Uh, I'm using a sleep one. So, and you can also use the DNS and the CPU ones, but I don't rely on the DNS. That is because uh, some machines may block the traffic from going out of the machines, like firewall rules. But uh, if you have a command execution using Java digitalization, then of course you can execute sleep and sleep will delay the response. And that is how you can catch uh, the vulnerability that, yeah, you have a command injection. So here you can see that it says not, not vulnerable to anything. But in the solution, it says that, that this is vulnerable to Apache Commons Collection 4. And here it says not vulnerable. Well, this is an issue, of course. All right, I had to do some little debugging because this tool was just not behaving well. So I will recommend you one thing that is uh, you can enable the verbose mode here so you know uh, if there are any errors or uh, was a problem that uh, may hinder and successful usage of this tool. So you can just go to the uh, configurations tab and here you can enable the verbose mode here. So I have already enabled it. Going back, uh, you can just uh, uh, make the request again. I'm going to say encode using base64, the encode using URL encoding. Click on attack. Waiting a minute or two, you can see the response here. It says 403 forbidden, and that is because new lines and headers are not allowed. So it looks like when it is embedding the payload here, uh, there are some new lines created. So what I will do here is I will click here and then just press delete so that I have a cache control here and then delete this entire line. Then I'll just click on attack once again. I know this is a tedious process, but better than manually doing it on Vice Serial Tool and then copy pasting every payload encoding base 64 then you are encoding it and then pasting it into the cookie section uh it's a lot easier than that so waiting a minute or two uh this can take some time if our payload that is sleep exploits uh sorry works on the machine and then it takes some time like five or ten seconds to detect the vulnerability so uh we can already see the target here in red well here the results here it says Apache 3 is not vulnerable and this time with a 500 internal server error and that may be because our exploit did work and it created an error saying it's, a, it's not a good string or maybe it's not a cookie, I don't know. So scrolling down, you can see it says potentially vulnerable to Apache Commons Collection for sleep and if the response time is 10 milliseconds or sorry, 10,000 milliseconds, that is 10 seconds. So this is a uh, Potentially vulnerable to Apache Commons Collection Code. Scrolling down, you can see all the results here, but there is none other than Apache Commons Collection Code. Once we know that this is vulnerable, then how we can go on to exploiting this? Well, uh, we go back to our VSO serial tool, and now we know that it is vulnerable to Apache Commons Collection Code. We just list out the content here, and then we'll select the Commons Collection Code here, and then just paste it here, then uh, tell it the command that you want to execute. I will say NS lookup that will uh, initiate a DNS query to my domain. I will be using a web collaborator here. I have the pro version. I am used. I have the pro version because I'm a student. I'm using a 30 day trial here. So just copy and click on copy and copy to clipboard. You can use your own, own uh, Python server for this. No worries if you're on a CTF or anything like that. Well, it did not copy. Uh, let me see. Copy to clipboard. Put it here. Oh god, not again. But I'll get back to you after typing it manually, of course. Alright, so we have typed it manually. And then, uh, 
will say that uh, base 64 encodes, of course. So base 64 here, press enter, and we have our string here that is encoded to base 64. Also, if I copy this, then this will be in a, a line breaks, and I have to will have to do it in one line. So what I'll do here, I'll say base 64 dash w zero to spell, make this an entire one line. So we have uh so we don't have any problems in pasting it so i'm just gonna copy this and then go back to burp in the decoder section of course then paste it in here well i don't know why my virtual machine is behaving like this today i cannot copy paste anything so if this happens to you uh what you will do is oh god where is my tutorial going now yeah so I'll save this in a file named C over them. Then I will launch a uh, Python server here quickly. Python read.m FTDB of server 80. Let's see what is our IP. Uh, it's 109. So now I'm gonna go to my Windows machine. And I'll say 109 here. And then our file that is C O double M. Oops, it's 192.0.0.109. Okay, so we have it saved here, I guess. Let's just open it. Uh, it opened on my another desktop. Yeah, here. So let's just copy this, minimize, and then let's paste it here. We have it here. Now, uh, this is base 64 encoded. That, that is what we wanted, but our cookie is now have to be URL encoded. So I'll say encode as URL, and we have it here. It's a pretty long text, of course. Now, I'll go to the proxy tab, and also, uh, in the web collaborator you can see if i phone now there's no interaction but there should be an interaction when i paste the cookie and forward the request turn on the intercept refresh the page we have it here now instead of this cookie paste our one and then i'll just forward this turn on the intercept let's see the response it says internal server error apache commons collection for function and then Consider to an exception. Well, maybe we could have an interaction. I'm gonna click on poll now, and we see our DNS interaction right here that is made via our NS lookup. So that is how you can uh, exploit the Java deserialization with the help of Java deserialization scanner. Of course, this is uh, this plugin is used to find the basic vulnerabilities. So uh, now, once you have this blind code execution confirmed, you can use the out of band. Uh, techniques to extract the data out of the server and also maybe you can get a reversal with this way of course you can get a reversal but this uh, web academy will not let me because it uh, forbids the request that it is made to any server except its own so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was somewhat educational to you i had some problems copy pasting things you already saw it but i hope uh, you learned something new today and that was my task so thank you all i'll see you next time